Hi, I'm Dory. This is my hamster, Nutmeg, and my mom, Regina. I have so much fun watching her burrow and run on her wheel. But I know I have to keep her home fresh and clean too, just like my own room. Taking care of her home can actually be super fun and colorful. Yes, we want it to be safe and comfy, but we also like to get creative. It's easy to change out accessories and rotate bedding colors to keep things fun or even match your room. I love to decorate for each holiday like Easter or Christmas. Let's get started with a few easy tips. Keeping a clean habitat makes for a happier, healthier pet with less vet visits and a longer life. And it also teaches children responsibility and gets them involved more. Daily spot cleaning and weekly refreshes keeps our home smelling fresh and clean. For large habitats with more bedding like this one, you can go longer. Here's a list of items to make cleaning quick and easy. Use a small spoon, scoop, or paper towels for spot cleaning. A paper bag for composting or disposing of soiled carefresh bedding. Animal safe cleaner. I use a 50-50 mix of water and distilled vinegar. A playpen or carrier with a hidey house for your pet while you clean. For daily spot cleaning, use a scoop to lift out any soiled or wet areas. Make sure to check under their hidey houses and in the corners. Some pets usually only go in one spot, making it easy to find and clean out. Make sure to clean their food bowls and water bottles daily. Place the soiled litter in the paper bag and responsibly dispose. Carefresh bedding is biodegradable and compostable, but check out local guidelines before you do so. Then refill the bedding as needed to maintain two to six inches. With daily spot cleaning, the need for a full refresh will vary from pet to pet, usually every seven to 10 days, or longer for larger habitats with more bedding, as it can be stressful, especially for hamsters. Place your pet in a safe carrier or playpen and remove any toys or accessories from the habitat. Remove and safely dispose of any soiled bedding material, but set aside some still clean bedding to mix in with the new bedding so your pet's home still smells familiar to them. For the larger habitats with a large amount of bedding, only clean out about half at a time or remove the top layer or any spots they urinate in if easily located. Clean all surfaces with a mild scent-free cleaner. Allow the habitat to dry completely. Add new bedding, fluff, and distribute in various depths for your pet's enjoyment. Replace the bowls and toys and return your pet to the comfort of her clean home. Refreshes give me the chance to mix and match my room or decorate for a holiday. I love to be creative so I can take pictures to share with my friends. Spruce up their home with DIY decor or other pet safe items. YouTube has a lot of great how-to videos. Make your small pet's home a focal point. Look at these amazing examples from our Carefresh Bigger is Better photo contest. Wow, those are so fun. But the most essential part is to get your kids involved in caring for and having fun creating the best home for your small pet. That's all for today's edition of Small Pets Big Love. See you next time.